Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the logic board in the Samsung Galaxy S3. I'll include a link in the video description where I got the parts to fix this and any tools that I use in this, I'll include a link for that as well. Anything that I think might be helpful to you guys, I'll put it in the video description if you want to check it out. So to remove the back cover, what you will want to do is there's a slot right here on the top by the headphone jack. You just stick your finger in there, pull up, just kind of work your way around and it comes right off. To remove the battery, same thing, just put your finger right here in this slot, pry up, and it comes right out. So next what you will want to do is have a Phillips screwdriver that's size 000 and you will want to remove nine screws out of here all the screws that you can see actually there's 10 I think and you'll want to take all those screws out then you will want to take something like a pry tool of some kind and I found right here is a good spot if you pry right under here where you can separate this back part and then you can just kind of work your way around and this back cover comes right off next what you will want to do is take a pry tool, something like this. I like a plastic one so it doesn't do damage to anything. And you want to disconnect this blue connector right here. So disconnect that and then you're going to want to go under this corner right here. There's a little tab right here. And you can work that up. I recommend putting your finger under there so you can get a little bit of room. And then just slide this around and this whole thing comes right up. To remove the logic board, what you'll need to do is first of all take something like a tweezers or something and disconnect this antenna cable right here. And then next I recommend using a plastic spudger when you can. And you'll need to remove this connector right here. Disconnect it. And disconnect the front camera right here. And disconnect this connector as well. So make sure that all the connectors are disconnected. Those three there and the antenna wire. And then we will need to remove this black screw right here. And then you can take anything, a finger or anything, but I just like to use a pry tool. And you can get under this wiggle it around and the whole thing comes right out just like that. To reinstall the logic board what you'll need to do just watch these connectors in different places and just very carefully start at the top here make sure the camera sets down in and set this board right down where it goes and then you want to get your black screw again the only black one that we have you want to put it in right away. Then we will start connecting. First I would recommend connecting this antenna wire. Then you will want to reconnect this connector. You can feel it good with your finger when you push down. It, it connects really well. Then you want to connect this little one you want to connect this little one as well. To put the headphone jack speaker assembly back in, all you need to do is set it down in just like that. Make sure everything's lined up properly. Just make sure it's snapped in all the way around and then connect this blue connector again. And to put the back cover back on, you want to set that on, make sure that's all snapped in everywhere. Then you want to put all your screws in all the way around. They're all the same size. To reinstall the battery, you can see where the connectors are on the battery. See where it is in here. Make sure it's turned the right way. Just set it in there, this end first. Set it right down in there, just like that. To put the back cover back on, what you'll need to do is just start in one end, the bottom, and Work your way up through. 
Make sure it's all the way around and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.